at this stage, we are four to five months away from Gamescom when we are intending to release Keltazod. And something that we're reacting very rapidly to is a playtest where we're realizing we need to do a major overhaul to some aspects of Keltazod's current implementation. You guys remember, this was the kit that we had before. Um, there's a lot of things here that are no longer in the game. This meeting is where we're halfway through the design playtest cycle, which is where we have the hero designers, the balance designers, playtesting the hero, giving feedback, and we're iterating on him every single day. So this meeting is to basically say, hey, where are we at now? Are there any major concerns? So we switched around the E and the W. So right now the W is uh, what Frost Shard used to be. It's now been renamed to Frost Nova fits the, the whole lich fantasy and things like that. So it's really, really good that I don't polish the animations off to a fine tee very early in production because the design can change so radically um, all the way to the end. And so I don't even look at the talents until the abilities are locked in and then I move forwards with the rest. So we've been iterating heavily on the base kit. Um, we've discovered a lot of problems with what the initial pitch was and we've been trying to work through those. Uh, in the process, we've we've pretty much changed every ability and we've completely removed almost everything that was part of this trait from the first design pitch. The advantages of this are that it's a little bit simpler, and if we want to put more complexity into his chains, which we've identified as one of the coolest aspects of his kit, we want to kind of take away a little bit of the complexity from his other abilities and let the chains really shine as the, the cool, complex ability. All right, any questions so far? Or? And so, what are you guys thinking for the queue? The version that we're looking at right now is slightly different. The Q is a different ability, pretty much entirely. As you guys keep playing with it, if you guys want anything, we'll, we'll make it happen. Artistically, one of the biggest pieces of feedback we're getting from the playtest sessions is about the scale, which was one of our big pain points from the kickoff meeting. And we will have to look at that feedback and make some adjustments so the character implements more effectively. The current issue with the size is that when people see a big character, they immediately assume that they're tanky. And since he's a mage, it kind of goes against that a little bit. Kel'Thuzad has this cloak kind of skirt that comes out like petals of a flower. And we want those to kind of trail behind him and have kind of a life of their own. But what we're noticing is that they're very big. His shape is huge. Just visually from our camera angle, you see this giant upside down flute of his skirt. So when he spins, the whole skirt spins with him. And so it's really important that um, we can sort of find a way that we can make every animation meld with one another without it feeling too snappy. We're playing around with some new turning tech that will allow us to have turning animations, which is really, really important for his enormous skirt that he has. There's just a ton of elements when it comes to working with a character. Everyone has their own little piece, everyone puts their piece in, and suddenly you have to make a change over here, and you have to work together constantly as a team. We're one unit. so. Every push, every little piece ends up pushing the character further and further down the pipeline. And in the end, we come together as a team and make something amazing. Some heroes, we throw in their base kit and it works out super well, and we don't even have to make any changes. And then other heroes, usually more bigger heroes like Kel'Thuzad, Ragnaros, and those types of heroes, we go through a lot of different abilities before we finally nail down what we think is the most fun. So right now, I'm feeling pretty good about where the direction that he's going. So we're just gonna keep iterating and keep trying to find the fun. These successive meetings inevitably get us to a point where we know exactly what we want. We have the final list of assets that need to be made and delivered from each department, whether it's design or art. This is the critical stage right now where we know what we're gonna do, the assets we're gonna trade amongst each other to get Kel'Thuzad headed towards final visual implementation. One of my favorite parts about designing a hero is, is getting to that point where the art team is finally starting to dig into it and, and get things in. It's always super exciting to see a character come to life. So today is the first team playtest. Uh, this is the moment where the entire dev team gets a chance to try out the new hero and give their feedback as to how they feel the kit is, how they feel the overall the fantasy and, and what they think of the hero as a whole. People were talking a lot of crap right before the game started. Um, so I'm really concerned about beating people to a pulp. It's actually, it's a lot like uh, Malfurion roots. We should do like unique, like unique sounds for that or something. Playtesting is extremely important. It's it's the primary way that the designers get feedback on their content, and it's the primary way that we make changes before whatever we're working on goes out to the public. The playtesting is really important uh, because it's a wider variety of different player styles and player skill levels, even just across our own team. So giving that feedback to the designers, generally pointing out things they probably haven't seen before. My favorite thing is to pour over all the feedback that everyone gives. 
and there's been a lot of positive feedback on how fun Kalthazad is to play at the moment. So I feel like we're in a we're starting to get in a really, really good, comfortable position, um, particularly with these combos. As these playtest sessions become broader and broader playgroups, we are starting to have a much clearer understanding of how accurately we have prepared and planned to release Kelthazad. This is when we're getting even more feedback on did we make the right decisions in the concept meeting, in the implementation meeting, were we on the right track in the design playtest. All of that stuff is either being affirmed or maybe we we're on the wrong track. That's what playtesting is discovering right now. Kelthazad's important to me uh, because I've played him in Warcraft 3 and I want to hit that lich fantasy really hard. I want to freeze people, I want him to feel like an undead, super powerful, just laying waste to everybody. You want to make sure you're really giving players the chance to become that hero and feel like they're really powerful and able to take on that role. I'm absolutely stoked about Kel'Thuzad's kit. I can't wait to jump onto the live server and get into some real games with my friends and other real players and see how he plays. This feels good, this feels really good. Well, the fantasy for a hero is really important because I think that that actually is what makes our game different and, and really unique. You've been with these characters for decades now. Like I grew up with them, like it's amazing to work on them. And so now I get to actually play as Kel'Thuzad. Whoa, okay, rip, I'll see you guys later. I'll throw some biceps, all right. <laughs> this group of developers, this is the first time that they've been able to see or interact with Kel'Thuzad from a developmental point of view in 14 years. The last time we had a chance to work on him was in Warcraft 3, and everybody's very, very excited on this opportunity to bring him back uh, in a big way and into the Nexus. Right now, um, I'm feeling really confident just overall with where we landed on the kit. We, we went through a lot of struggles to get it to where it is. From the first pitch, it was wildly different than it ended up now. Now it's in a much better state. It feels much more cohesive and fun to play with. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how the talents are going to make it all better. The Damned Triumph! Ah. Uh.